Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Okay, I'm going to wait till people start trickling in. Hmm. I have a beautiful, nice summery day outside today. Okay, so if you are here, please let me know if you are able to hear my voice if you are able to see me well might just say a yes might just say a hello mm. okay if you are here yes good afternoon thank you thank you prarthna thank you thank you i'm having such a wonderful day today and i just got done with a session this morning and i i just came to my living room and then i found this beautiful trees sprouting new green leaves outside and then i wanted to give a little bit of update on first of all my process called dtb which is deliberate thought building hi surya hi hello hi yeah i wanted to give you a little bit of update on deliberate thought building and i want to talk about my newest upcoming webinar slash masterclass event that i'm doing which is called why magical thinking works the ultimate dtb webinar so first of all if you are not a part of my telegram channel just let me bring this closer wait okay this works much better Right so if you are not a part of my telegram channel I have a free telegram channel called the DTB channel and if you are not a part of that channel go and join it because that's where I put up a lot of DTB related content which of course if you happen to be a coach if you happen to be a healer if you happen to be someone who is sort of a counselor or a therapist or who is building that business who is new or relatively new to this profession right maybe one or two years and you would want to really be intentional about your business and you would want to make your business sustainable and you would want to make money in your business and you would want to have a steady flow of clients then my process dtb deliberate thought building is going to help you a lot and that is available free of cost inside the dtb channel okay so if you are not inside the dtb channel which is on telegram go and join there you will find the link to the dtb channel in the link in my bio so all you've got to do is go to my profile click on the link in my bio and then you will have access to the dtb channel go and join it right and now let me tell you about dtb deliberate thought building so i discovered or came to know about this process and i could sort of cultivate evolve and build upon it only recently you know it's been probably another maybe two and a half years to three years and i remember starting off my business as a coach as a therapist when i was starting off my business as a healer as a therapist i did not know how to start and where to begin so my default experience was that okay i'm new to delhi i am supposed to meet as many people as i can right and maybe network with them and i had this much intelligence at least that okay i'm supposed to tell people that i happen to be a therapist i happen to be a healer i know specific processes by which i can help people go back to their childhood or to their past and resolve their current day problems from by going into their past right that much knowledge i had and there was no one who told me that go about your business this way go about your business that way so i did that and i met as many people as i could i met people in weddings i met people at the elevator i met people at the grocery shop most of all i think i met people um so i had this friend of mine who back then was in delhi so right now he is in the us and he was working at the uni- at one of the universities in delhi itself so i used to go to his place and stay with him and then um uh, as many people i met at the university campus what i did was i would just go and tell them or my friend would just introduce like oh you know my friend is a healer maybe he's a he's a therapist and he helps people and then people would grow curious 
so in the beginning of my career when i did not know stuff like you know um, inner child healing i did not know stuff like regression therapy i would just say that well i can talk to you and i can help you understand where your problems are coming from and uh, we know from like popular psychology that um most of your current day problems are from your past so by talking i can take you back there and i can help you by excavating those past stories or past experiences and that would be enough most of the times i think so many of you are here healers or maybe you are coaches or maybe therapists right and you seem to believe that you would need to have some really specialized complicated or complex methods or ways by which you can help clients and then they would pay you and that's so not true that's just not true because people are looking for resolution they are, they are looking for results it doesn't matter how you give them in the beginning when i did not know these deep processes like inner child healing regression work constellation uh, constellational work generational work i would just talk to them mostly through talking and helping them understand where the issues are coming from just by talking by asking intelligent questions like okay what makes you feel like that or how do you feel where do you think is this feeling is coming from if it was not from the present time but it was from your past where do you think it might have uh sprang up for you you know what incident or event in your life might have led you to believe that this is true right so i was doing a lot of belief work a lot of thought based work back then but i did not know that that is something that i could apply in my life in my business which is why i just went about meeting people telling them how i can help them and told them that you know this is what i do we talk for 1 hour and i'm going to help you talk through your problems and at that point of time i was charging some 700 rupees and i think the next one was like 1000 and then the next um next jump that i made was like 1500 rupees maybe so stuff like that now um my beliefs at that point of time was that okay i am helping these people they would naturally go and talk about me to other people like i believed i really believed that they would naturally go and talk about me to other people which they did and then i had this small little paper kind of calendar like let me show it to you wait wait so something like this something like this like i would just place it on the table this way and then i would keep on flipping that calendar and on that calendar i had all the names written like monday 11 am so and so session 2 pm so and so session 6 pm so and so session and i would just keep it on on one of my desk on one of my tables i we didn't have those advanced digital calendars now now of course i just speak to my phone and the phone tells me what i need to do the next day or the next week right at that point of time i didn't have that and i thought that isn't this normal to have everyone's name in the calendar and just keep flipping it and the strange thing which i realized is strange today is that when i look back i did not have empty spaces in that calendar like there would be three sessions on one day four sessions on one day two sessions on one day but like there were no empty spaces there were not, not like oh i don't have client for us for on this on this week or this weekend <clears throat> so then when i began dating my partner i would just call him up and tell him that you know my saturdays are always booked because saturdays are the most number of clients so even if we are meeting on saturday i would really want if you come after 2 pm so he was studying at the medical medical college at that point of time and my default belief was that well saturdays are going to be full because there was no such saturday which was not full right when i look back i just realized that how did i know that my saturdays are going to be full how did i know that my calendar is going to be not empty because only in hindsight i realized that oh so many coaches so many healers i meet talk about their calendars not being full and then for weeks and weeks they don't have clients coming in for months they don't get clients and so uh, at that time i didn't know this i just thought that this is how things are right and i did not have social media i did not have i had facebook but i was not like going headlong on facebook and telling people that you could reach out to me or you could get coached by me you could get therapy from me no i did not do that i did not have instagram at all and then the i think the only way 
um, things kept on working for me is because I kept on deliberately believing that clients come through reference. If I am helping someone, then obviously that person will go and talk about me to others. That was the first belief. The second belief was that my calendar is anyways full. I mean, there is nothing to think about. Just like I told my partner that my Saturdays are going to be full because Saturdays I have most number of clients. I did not have evidence ahead of time that my next Saturday will be full or empty. But by default, it became full and full and full and full. And that led me to believe that, oh, I have enough evidence that my Saturdays are full, right? So I never believed that my calendar can have empty spaces. And the last one was, is like making money is so easy for me, right? Like I could just say it aloud that my sessions when I think my sessions became uh, 2,500 and from there I made a huge jump to 5,000. That was a big jump by the way. But never did I feel that I will not get clients wanting to pay me the money that I want to be paid. I got paid at 700. I got paid at 1,000. I got paid at 1,500. I had full client and full practice at 2,500 rupees per session. I had full practice at 5,000 per session. I had full practice at 7,500 per session. Then I moved on to 10,000. And even at 10,000, I had full practice. My practice dwindled a little bit when I moved on to 15,500 because probably my belief was dwindling and I did not know that I could believe that people could give me 15,500 per session. And then uh, I think the big jump from 15,000 that I made was like 56,000 per session. And again, my practice dwindled a little bit because I was in anxiety. Oh my God, will people pay me? Stuff like that. But then when I moved into lakhs and lakhs, like I would charge a lakh for a session, I would charge 21 lakhs for six months, then it just became again streamlined because I was in full belief and I had found the fact that I can deliberately choose to believe certain things about my businesses, about my business. Until then, I did not even know that this is a business. I just thought, well, I'm a therapist who helps people, serves them, takes them back to their past, helps them resolve their issues, and gets money in return, just like any other professional, just like maybe a doctor. And the fact that I already had a doctor title because I had done my medicine, my MBBS, that helped me to realize that, well, I'm just doing what I would anyways do if I was uh, practicing medicine, right? So that kind of default belief helped me. But it is in hindsight, I am able to notice that I had these strong beliefs that most of my colleagues and most of my students did not have. So you could say that there was some divine power or there was some universal power that did not let me deviate from my beliefs. But instead, I did not see that happening to many people. And I used to wonder, why do people think that they will not get clients? Getting clients is so easy, right? Because my experience is so easy. I, I, I used to think that why would they even struggle to talk about how they help people? Because I would just talk about it in the simplest way. I would say, listen, you know, how I'm going to help you is if you are having a relationship issue right now, it might be stemming from your childhood. So all we'll have to do is when you close your eyes, I will take you back in time to that part of your childhood from where this issue might be stemming because it could be with your mom or with your dad. Once we resolve it, you will be able to find its reflection in your current day life and people would be convinced. It's not that I would say that <laughs> say to convince them, but they would just be convinced that this is what it is, right? Because maybe I didn't have an iota of doubt inside me that explaining this much is not enough. I have to give them something, the sun and the moon maybe, you know? So uh, what I wanted to tell you all is that as I grew in my business, I realized that certain things I was doing unconsciously in a positive direction that I can do consciously today, right? And I asked myself, what was I thinking when I was doing all of that? What was I thinking when I was charging 56,000 in the time of pandemic? What was I thinking when my calendar was completely full? 
what was I thinking when I kept getting clients through reference without doing anything? They would just ping me on WhatsApp and I would reply to them on WhatsApp and I would say, my per session price is 5,000. If you want to book, I can give you next Monday slot. Do you want it? And they would say, yeah, I want it. And I would say, okay, here is my bank details. You can just send in the money here and they would send the money. Like it would be that easy. So I asked myself, if that was so easy, there must be certain beliefs that I was thinking that at that point of time, I did not know, I did not notice or I was not exposed to the idea that one can deliberately think and believe things ahead of time. That is DTB. To think and believe ahead of time. Deliberate. Thought. Building. Which means you build your thoughts in such a way that you decide things in your money reality, in your business, ahead of time. So while in the normal world, world which is outside of coaches, you can call it affirmations, you can call it sentences. I call it DTB because I specifically use deliberate thought building in the world of coaching to help coaches, to help healers, to help therapists, to help any human being who is working with other human beings life and nervous system and hence the umbrella term life coaches. I help life coaches to make money. That's what I do. So if you are new to my new to my profile and you still don't know what I do, I help life coaches make money. Why? Because that has been my life experience. I've made crores and crores of rupees in the life coaching industry, in the healing and therapy industry in India. And that's what I do. And I have a program called ATEPS, Abundance Tapping Expansion Practice Series, which happens to be a lifetime program where I have these groups of life coaches coming from different aspects and different streams of life, coaching and profession, whom I really help to build up their business, to make it sustainable, to make a lot of money, to offer a lot of value to the world, right? And the process through which I do most of this work is the DTB, which is deliberate thought building that you decide ahead of time, thoughts that you give yourself that you will be able to execute in your business, that your feelings and your actions are aligned according to those thoughts. Like the thoughts that I gave myself without knowing that those were my thoughts, it's only in hindsight I realized, is that clients always come to me. It's easy to find clients because I kept on finding clients, right? Oh, now there's a nice emoji as well, right? Because it was, e because it was easy to find clients, right? So I always tell, told myself that clients are everywhere. It's easy to find clients. That was the first DTV. The second is it is easy to make money because no matter what I quoted, whether I quoted 700 or I quoted 5,000 or I quoted 56,000, I kept getting clients. Even during the pandemic, even during the pandemic, the pandemic was a time when my entire practice went online. Like all the courses that I was teaching, I was teaching inner child, I was teaching family constellations, I was teaching regression therapy, all my courses, they became online. Yes, Anupa, thank you. Wow. <laughs> so all my courses went online. And in the beginning, I, I just felt so scared. Oh my God, oh my God, how will I deliver quality? How will I create uh, impact? Will it be as impactful as, you know, um, offline? And so many, so many trainers worldwide were suffering and they were telling that, no, 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 now all the practice is going to fall apart and then business is going to fall apart. And then I told myself that, no, that doesn't need to be true. And on top of that, on top of that, everyone was saying that, oh, it's pandemic. So of course, money is going to be an issue for people. It's going to hit low. There's going to be recession. There's going to be a hit to the economy. And that's when I realized that. And I think that's also the time when I discovered the model. The model is basically, listen to this carefully. The model is basically circumstance influences thoughts. Circumstance influences thoughts. Thoughts influence feelings, right? Feelings influence actions and action influences result, right? Circumstance influences thoughts, thoughts influences feeling, feelings influences action, action influences result. So when you see the circumstance and money is hitting low, economy is going down, everyone is like their business is losing, you also start thinking that maybe my business is also going to go low. And maybe I will also make, not make money and I will also have less number of clients. That is the time when I realized and I was exposed to the model. The model says that no, decide your result ahead of time. 
tell yourself what's the result that you want to experience. I even have a class on it. I have a master class. It's very cheap. It's 2,500 only. I have a master class um, called The Greatest Abundance Secret. And that's where I talk about the model. So the model basically says that decide your result ahead of time. And based on the... Thank you. Thank you, Bhavna. Thank you, Jigma. Based on the uh, based on the model, based on the result, you align your thoughts, right? So if your result, let's say, some of you are coaches here. So if your result is um, you want to make like five lakhs in a month, okay? And maybe currently you are making one lakh or maybe two lakh in a month or maybe 50,000, right? So then you need to make like a series of thoughts that you would want to believe ahead of time without evidence, Listen to this ahead of time. Wow, I love this. <laughs> Balloons and all. <laughs> right. So you decide ahead of time. Okay. And you decide that here is a series of um, thoughts that I tell myself. That I need to think and believe without any evidence. If there is no evidence of you ever making five lakhs. So without the evidence of that, what are the thoughts that I will have to think ahead of time? Right. So, for example, this is an example. Let's say I can coach someone for three months at one lakh. Can I decide that? Yeah, I can decide that. I can coach someone for three months of time, 12 sessions, and I can charge one lakh. That's belief one. Belief two. Do I believe that I would be able to find five such people, just five, not 50, not 500, not 5,000, just five. Can I believe that those five people I can find who would be willing to pay me one lakh for three months of time? Second belief, right? Third belief is, do I believe that those five people exist in my ambit, in my space or in my energetic reality right now? Can I believe that? If yes, if my body feels aligned to that belief, that's it. So that becomes your plan of belief, like a calendar you have made, right? And these are your deliberate thoughts that you have decided ahead of time that here are my thoughts that I would need to believe if I um, want to make five lakh. The fourth belief could be optional that do I believe that these five people who are in my ambit to whom I can make this offer of coaching for three months at one lakh, would they be willing to pay me in full? So let me believe that people want to pay me in full. I'm going to decide ahead of time that people want to pay me in full. Right? And in the beginning, it may feel that, oh my God, my body is like going in shock. I am so overwhelmed. I just go into freeze when I believe these beliefs. And the thing is that initially that's going to happen because you are believing something that is not a part of your regular day life. Come on. Like, why wouldn't your body react? When I was... When I was jumping from charging 15,000 to 56,000 per session, I was hyperventilating like crazy. I was, I was like a rat maybe, you know, going from this direction to that direction. And like, <laughs> that's what was, that was happening to me. And I would hyperventilate at night and like wake my partner up and say that, you know, I, I'm just feeling so heavy. I don't know what to do. I'm the breathing hard. Those kind of stuff was happening to me. I mean, it doesn't need to happen to you. Like in the presence of a coach, like my students go through all these feelings on an everyday basis. But then I coach them inside my program. I coach them inside ATEPS. I coach them in my life calls, which is why we, we find ways to regulate with these feelings, which of course are going to come up. And our job is not to become a Superman and not feel these feelings. Our job is to feel these feelings and find a way to regulate with them. Anyway, so that is, these are your deliberate thoughts, right? Which you decide ahead of time. So that is when I started building my business on the basis of these thoughts that I wanted to give myself, right? And I kept on making a whole library of thoughts. It was not a notebook. It was not a, uh, how do you say? It was not like just like a small paper. It was like a whole library of thoughts that I gave myself that here are my thoughts on an everyday, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis that I am going to think and I'm going to stay put in these thoughts and I will not move from it. And I found that I could actually um, segregate these thoughts into different, different arenas. Like in my selling process, the way I sell, 
I could decide ahead of time that my people, my clients, like all of you, are sold out as much as I am sold out on my offer. This is one of the examples. Like as long as I'm willing to believe in my offer, my clients will believe. I told myself ahead of time. Sometimes I decide ahead of time that in this launch, 100 people will sign up for so-and-so programs. I decide ahead of time, right? So in my selling, I started using DTB. In my marketing, I think in my marketing, my DTB was, uh, I mean, it was the best um, usage of DTB. You know, otherwise people feel so lost in marketing. They would be like, oh my God, we need to post reels and we need to post pictures and we need to have aesthetics and, you know, I need to write good caption. No, none of that. None of that. I came from sufficiency and I told myself that it's not my content which produces the result. I don't give an F about the content. It's my energy that goes behind my content and the thoughts I t tell myself before I put the content. So some of the thoughts that I tell myself is, people are curious about my work. People are already desiring to work with me. At this moment, in this time, people are consuming, binging, reading, watching, listening, whatever I have posted. All the content that I have produced in these years is enough for me to get people buying my programs. My connection with my people is what brings me the money and not necessarily the content. And I just told myself some of these thoughts and I deliberately believed in it, which made my content making process so easy. I could just have fun with my content instead of that thing. You know, people, I know people who wake up in the morning and start worrying about content and they'll be like, oh my God, I just so feel, feel so frigid. You know, I don't know what to post and I feel so lost. No, you don't have to. What you've got to do before you post the content is find out your set of beliefs that you want to be believe about your content, about your marketing, right? I believe that people are buying from me because they can build a trustworthy, safe and warm relationship with me because I'm available to them, giving them value in their particular area that they need. And because they consume that value, they realize that it's not just content, it's value. It's something that they can use in their life. And I truly believe that it's not my content which is making me money. It's actually the value I give, right? Thank you, Bhavna. Bhavna says, whatever you believe, your body should feel comfortable with it. Is that right? Yeah, of course. Which is why we need coaching. Because in the beginning, we don't feel comfortable. And then as we coach more and more and more and more, we reach a place where we can feel comfortable, right? Similarly, I started using DTB to my offer, right? Like one of the amazing DTB that I have for my offer is my offer has a soul of its own, just like a baby, right? Like we try to control when a, when a baby comes into this planet and parents try to control so much, my goodness, they want to like determine the life of the child without realizing that the child has wishes, aspirations, intentions, and soul energy of its own. Similarly, people feel really controlled about their offer. They want to push their offer. They want to like make it perfect and they want to, you know, come up with the best iteration in the very beginning. My students go through it all the time. They want to come up with a program and they will have thousand questions about the name of the program. What should I name my program? You know, how much should I be pricing it? And I would say, please, it has a soul of its own. Allow it to evolve. Just go with the first iteration, whatever is coming in your mind, right? More than the name, the aesthetics, the structure, the solidity, all of this, what you believe about this offer is way more important. Just like what you believe about your child is way more important than putting the child to swimming and then taking the child for art classes and then taking the child for karate classes and then taking the child for piano classes because you want the child to learn everything. Stuff like that don't work, right? Perfectionism doesn't work. So anyway, one of the DTVs is my offer has a soul of its own and therefore it can sell itself beyond my control. My offer has a soul of its own and it can sell itself beyond my control, right? So I apply DTV in marketing. I apply DTV in selling. I apply DTV in offer making. I apply DTB in constructing my offers, in designing my offers, and 
yeah, another DTP is audience size does not matter. I currently have an audience size of 3,860 something. Last year, I had an audience size of less than 3,000. I made eight crores in one year, like eight crores in one single year last year. And that is simply because I believed that the number of people I have who are engaging with me and deciding to buy with me are enough. Like it's enough. It doesn't matter where they come from. It doesn't matter whether they come from Instagram. It doesn't matter whether they come from WhatsApp, Facebook, email list, wherever they come from, right? I believed that the number of people that I have in my ambit, in whatever form they are, is enough for me to make that amount of money. I pre-decided that this is the amount of money I will make and then I align my thoughts and my feelings and hence my actions based on the result that I gave myself, right? So DTB is believing ahead of time and often without evidence and we persist on them till the evidence shows up and I do it specifically in the world of money and business and coaching which is why I have a trademarked name called Deliberate Thought Building, right? Now, here are two things. I am coming up with a webinar, okay? It's called Why Magical Thinking Works because it worked for me. It's happening on the 10th of April at 7 p.m. IST and we will go on for at least two hours um, till around 9 p.m. IST, okay? So come with your pen and paper. I will be talking a lot about DTB. I'll be talking about my journey. I'll be talking about how you can use DTB in your healing, coaching, therapy, whatever business you have or entrepreneur that you are, right? And you want to make money. So if you want to make money and live as, as I said, like unicorn spitting gold, then come for, come for this webinar, okay? You'll find the link in, link of the webinar and the link in my bio. So go to my profile. Okay, there is my picture and then there are this description about my profile and below that you will find my link tree. So click on the link tree. The first link that will appear is the webinar link. So go and register for this webinar. You will automatically receive the Zoom link in your inbox. Okay, and then you come on the 10th of April. That's first news. News two is that I'm coming up with a new offer called the DTB Magic Box. Okay which is like a library, which is like a universe of DTB. And there are three kinds of DTBs that I will be giving inside the DTB magic box. Mind you, this is a lifetime program. It's a lifetime membership. What you will get inside this membership is, in the first segment, you will find curated DTBs from the Telegram channel, the DTB channel, where we do upload DTBs, but in two weeks time, they automatically get removed from the channel. So if you want to listen to those DTBs over and over again to feel not just pumped up, but to remain focused in your money making process, then those DTBs are going to become essential for you. The second kind of DTBs are exclusive DTBs that you will not find anywhere in the world, but only inside the membership. Four such DTBs every month, four, 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 four every month. And then every month you will find one DTB from my life and my business that has worked for me and that will be called DTB of the month. And I will be making a video on that DTB and it'll go up in the portal month after month after month. So imagine currently this offer is the DTB magic box is 25,000 rupees only. When I started my other money and business coaching program, which is ATEPS, I started it at 75,000 rupees, by the way. And I had 12 people joining in. Today, ATEPS is at 5 lakhs. People pay 5 lakhs to get inside ATEPS my lifetime money and coaching, money and business coaching program. So DTB currently is available. DTB magic box is available at 25,000 and we don't know to what price it will go up to in the future, whether it goes up, whether it doesn't go. I don't know why, because every offer has a soul of its own, right? Each offer has a soul of its own. The soul will decide whether it really want, wants to go up or not, whether the money it wants to in increase or not, right? So if you want to sign up for the DTB magic box for lifetime, to get all these magical deliberate thought building, coaching, audios and videos, all you've got to do is DM me and tell me I want to join the DTB Magic Box or I'm going to pre-book and uh, you can pay by Google Pay, you can pay by bank transfer, I can also give you a credit card link and I will see you inside. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.
Oh, it's a it's a feature on Instagram. Something keeps on happening. Like some people keep telling me that my voice keeps on changing in the lives. Right in the last live, also my voice kept on changing. So something or the other goes wrong, probably in Instagram, or maybe it's some kind of spirit talking through me. Probably I I have no idea. But anyway, thanks to all. <laughs> See you all. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.